Hello friends. In this lesson, we are going to explore whole numbers. And in particular, we are going to discuss the place value of whole numbers. Now, I want you to have your pens and papers ready because we will need them as we progress. Okay? Great. Now, different digits take on different positions in numbers. Therefore, their value depends on their positions. Now, the position that a digit takes is known as its place value. Now, let's look at the number 870546. 870,546. Now, in this number, each digit that you see has a different place value. Now this will always depend entirely on where the digit is placed or where it is positioned. In this case, the 6 is in the 1's place, the 4 is in the 10's place, the 5 is in the 100's position, and so on. Okay. Now, to know the place value of a digit, we need to know and understand the place value table. Okay, friends, time to get your pens and paper ready. I want you to draw three lines from side to side, and these are going to be our rows. One, two, three. Okay. Now I want you to draw seven columns from top to bottom, strong and vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want good columns like the ones in the Parthenon and the Panthenon. Now, those guys, they made math their friend and they built these exquisite structures. And you know what? So will you. Okay, let's get back to our place value. Okay, I want us to label each box in the top row. We always go from right to left. Okay, so the first box on the right, we have our ones. In the second box, we have our tens. In the third box, we have our, yes, correct, hundreds. In the fourth box, we have our thousands. In the fifth box, we have our tens of thousands. And in the sixth box, we have our hundreds of thousands. That's great. Well done. Okay, now let's take another number. 648709. I want us to place each digit in its correct value box. Are you ready? Remember, when we plot the numbers, we always go from right to left. Let's go. Okay, our number is 648709. In the number 648,709, each digit has a unique position. So starting from the right side, are you ready? Nine in the ones, zero in the tens, seven in the hundreds, eight in the thousands, four in the tens of thousands, six in the hundreds of thousands. Okay, friends, well done. Let's try this with another number. Are you ready? Pen to paper. Let's draw our table. Remember, three rows, uh-huh, and now seven strong, robust columns. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Remember, when we are putting our numbers in the boxes, we always go from right to left. Okay. 
In the first box, we have our ones. In the second box, we have our tens. In the third box, we have our, yes, hundreds. In the fourth box, we have our thousands. In the fifth box, we have our tens of thousands. In our sixth box, we have our hundreds of thousands. Okay, are you done? So let me teach you a little shortcut. When you are labeling the top row, you can put O for ones, T for tens, H for hundreds, TH th for thousands, TOT for tens of thousands, H O T hot for hundreds of thousands. That's just my little shortcut for you. Okay, let's take another number. 189,249. I want us to place each digit in the correct value box. Now remember, we always plot the numbers from right to left. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Our number is 189,249. Now, in this number, remember that each digit has a unique position. Starting from the right side, let's go. 9 in the 1s, 4 in the 10s, 2 in the 100s, 9 in the 1000s, 8 in the 10s of 1000s, and 1 in the 100s of 1000s. Okay, friends, well done. That was great. Now, remember... In today's lesson, we have learned that different digits take different positions in our numbers. And that is what we call our place value. Now, the different place values are always from the right to the left. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands. Okay? Great. Great job. Now, if you need to watch this again, I want you to watch it again until you are familiar and you are confident with your whole numbers and with place value. I want you to always remember, math is a universal language. Okay? And math really is your friend. Anyone and everyone can excel in math. I promise you. To learn more on this topic or to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe to my page on Kitabu. That was a great lesson. See you next time. Okay? Bye! Kitabu.